Yo, what's up guys? This is Bolo from the TSMR6 team. Dream Mac champ, third at invite, second in a bunch of other seasons. I play Flex for the TSMR6 team, and this is my vigil guide. Shout out to Logitech G for sponsoring this video. This is Zope Top. I got Ash. Yeah, you have 90 under Wonder. Wonder dead. I'd say for the most part, the role for the vigil is just to kind of, you know, burn time on the room, kind of gather info, deny the attacker's drones, and just, again, overall, just burn time for the whole round. Individually, vigil is probably the best roamer just because once you have your gadget enabled, the attackers won't know where you are from drones. They have to face check. To be honest, I think Vigil can kind of be incorporated into every map for the most part. It kind of just depends on the setup of the defenders and how you want to play out the round. If you want to play, you know, more loosely, more, you know, kind of like a roam structure, then you're going to want like a Vigil, maybe some Mozzie and some Mute. But if you're going heavy, heavy utility and like sight, you're not going to want to run a Vigil. Vigil is just, again, just the best roamer there is. What makes Vigil really good as, a, as an operator is just a very good loadout, great primary, automatic secondary with the CZ or the SMG-12. He's got impacts and bar, or a bulletproof. So, you know, you have some info options, whereas if you just want to take impacts for the roam, you know, go for it. But again, one you have is gadget enabled. Any attacker drone can't see you. And that is extremely powerful when you want to just kind of rat around and burn out time on the roam. I'd say for the most part, the only real like weaknesses to Vigil, I guess counters, is Jackal and Dokubi. Just any anything with a universal ability, like that attracts, other than Lion, of course, because when Lion has his scanner going off, you can keep moving while the Lion scan's going off. So a lot of people don't know that, but you can keep moving when Lion's radar is going on. But I think for the most part, I guess my playstyle kind of works with it, just kind of, you know, burning time on the roam. When I need to, I can try to make a play on like the flank right when they're about to execute, kind of help this guy's in sight from, you know, losing the round. I'd say for the most part on Vigil's attachments, if you're not running angled, you're trolling. But other than that, it's kind of preference. I use angled flash hollow for the primary, for the K1A, but um, the, I guess the secondary is what really comes to, you know, preference. Some people use the CZ, I use the CZ. Some people use the SMG-12. I do see the benefit just because, you know, you actually have a, an actual sight on the SMG-12, but I think the CZ is better overall. Where same thing goes for the boss G with the uh, angled grip. If you run the boss G, you're trolling. Don't, don't use the boss G. To be honest, as a vigil, I'd say I'm probably running like 50-50 on whether I take a bulletproof or impacts. Again, just if there's a lack of info on the other operators on your lineup, you're just gonna take the bulletproof, put it in sight, put it wherever. But other than that, just impacts for the room. It's always helpful. Make a rotate, you know, pretty impromptu if you if you need to. I'd say for the beginning of a round as a vigil, I usually kind of run around with my scanner on, of course, um, to see where drones are. Because if you have your scanner on and there's a drone nearby, you'll get like a like there's little fuzzies on the bottom of your screen. It increases the closer you get to a drone. So it's just kind of gauging where the attackers are trying to come from or just you know deny their pre-placed drones just so they have less info at the very start of the round. In the very prep phase, of course, reinforce, maybe reinforce three or four because Vigil doesn't have a whole lot of setup. And then after that, just go and try to hunt drones and figure out where the attackers are planning to come through. So when I'm on the roam, for the most part, I don't get into a whole lot of gunfights early. I kind of wait till the very last couple seconds of the round so I can help with the side execution on the attacker side. So when I do get in that gunfight, I want to rely on my equipment. So my Pro X Super Light, I have to know that it's going to help me win the fight against the attackers at the very end with a very crucial part of the round, which will eventually determine if we lose or win. So again, my mouse is everything to me on the roam. I've also never really been a fan of heavy mice, especially, you know, for really long like scrim sessions or anything like that or even ranked. So when, it, you know, the Pro X Super Light, extremely light, I can just, you know, it's, it's, it's like gliding on air. So when I'm on the room with Vigil, audio is very important to me because a lot of the time you're not going to have a whole lot of info to help you. You're just kind of on your own, working, working the flank. You have to listen to a lot of audio cues. So, you know, audio is really important. So my Pro X headset always gets the job done 
and I can hear the drone fuzzies on my little Rook 7 ability. I can hear people kind of, you know, trying to work the site, trying to work me, trying to pinch me on the flank. So you really got to listen when you're on the roam. The one thing I really, really like about my keyboard is just that it's 10 keyless, so it's very, very compact. So I have a lot of room on my desk, so I can kind of like sprawl out, and I can do that with a nice comfy keyboard, the Pro X. A lot of the times a nice, well-placed bulletproof can eventually win around, but so can some impacts. So on the Roam, I like to use a lot of my impacts as sound diversions or, you know, like, I mean, if you're gonna wanna push, like, let's say the right side, you can throw an impact on the left, kind of distract the attacker, make them look towards the left, and then you push the right. On the Roam, you have a lot of time to think and about how you want to um, kind of work the flank. So you can definitely kind of distract and kind of diverse the attacker's attention so you can, you know, kind of strike. I'd say the only tips and tricks for Vigil's gadget is again, like whenever a lion scan goes off, usually the majority of the, the attackers are gonna think, all right, we're probably good to go. We can, you know, everyone's gonna be kind of standing still. And right when that happens, I activate my gadget and I'm flying. I'm out of there. The gadget's really good for, I guess, locating drones in certain areas. Um, when you have it enabled, the closer you get to a drone, the more fuzzies you get, and then you can just, you know, deny a drone. I'd say the only real mistake that some vigils make is just committing to a flank too early or getting the sight too late. It's just kind of, there's like a, there's a sweet spot that you want to go right when there's, right before they start to execute. So when you get to the attackers, you, they, they're trying to execute and at the same time the defenders in sight can explode on them with you. So like a little pinch. But other than that, it's just kind of like just weighing out the time and knowing when you need to go and when you don't need to go. I'd say for the most part, the whole concept of roaming is just to kill time. If you're not killing time, you're not doing a good job roaming. Um, I'd rather burn like a minute and a half to two minutes rather than get a kill. Because if you're in a power spot on the on like a flank or like, you know, the attackers think they have you cleared, but you're not and you're just kind of like waiting around and you have a power spot to flank from, it's extremely powerful and can single-handedly win around as long as the defenders can hold the site down. I'd say the operators that give Vigil the most trouble is probably Nomad, and then after that, probably Jackal, Dokubi, along with a little bit of Lion, again, Jackal, he can scan your footprints just like every other defender. Dokubi, same thing, phone call and everything, but the real issue when you're working the flank on the roam is the Nomad. So that's when, that's when you really want to have an impact grenade. If you run a Bulletproof and there's a Nomad, you're gonna really wish you had an impact grenade. I'd say for the most part, I'm not really kind of like directing everything on the room. I kind of have to sit and react to what's going on in the site. So it's kind of like a constant back and forth, like small talk with the guys in sight, just to know when I need to work the flank or work some sort of avenue to help the guys in sight. But other than that, I guess it's, it's a joint effort between the, def the, the guys in sight, the anchors and me on the room. I'd say for the most part, Vigil's never gonna be really an anchor. Some some cases, you know, you're gonna wanna get back to side, just kinda hold it down, maybe if you have like a heavy man advantage. But for the most part, if it, it gets into like a post plant situation, like the attackers get the, the diffuser down, it's just like every other operator, you just have to work with your team. When it comes to his ability, it's, it's pretty selfish. Um, he only helps himself, really. So the attackers won't see you, but they'll see everybody else. Your a team can still benefit from it, just as long as you play it right. Cause you know, if the attackers don't know where you are, it's it's pretty pretty powerful. So you can hide in little rat spots here and there, um, like just like little small corners that nobody would expect, kind of off angles, stuff like that. Well, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed my vigil guide. Hopefully, you guys learned something new, something you can incorporate into your vigil playstyle and bump it up to the next level. Uh, thank you to Logitech G for sponsoring this video and the best products out there. If you guys liked what you saw, and again, if you learned anything new, subscribe. Let us know in the comments below if you want to see anything else, and uh, take care.